Do any of you recycle at your house? We'll be doing some things about recycling. Um, and we'll do some, a book about compost. Do you guys know what compost is? Probably not. <laughs> do you know what's compost? Is that where you throw all your food stuff in and put it outside and it gets break, breaks down and then you put it in your garden or you put it in your compost bin and they come and take it away? <laughs> so this first book is called The Earth Book by Todd Parr. I take care of the earth because I know I can do little things every day to make a big difference. I use both sides of the paper and bring my own bags to the market because I love the trees. Do you guys ever remember to bring your own bags to the market? No. no. <laughs> I try, but I don't always remember. But it's good to do. And I want the owls to have a place to live. I turn off the faucet while I brush my teeth and use less water for my bath because I love the fish. Do you guys love fish? Do you like fish? Yeah. And I want the oceans to stay blue. I take the school bus and ride my bike because I love the stars. And I want the air to be clear so I can see them sparkle. Any of you guys ever go out and watch the stars at night? And see them all bright in the sky? I try to eat every bite on my plate and save my leftovers because I love watching things grow. And I want there to be enough food for everyone. I remember to turn off the lights and shut the refrigerator to save energy because I love the polar bears. Do you guys like polar bears? <laughs> and I want the snowmen to stay cool. I throw garbage in the trash can and recycle glass, aluminum, paper, and plastic because I love to walk barefoot in the grass and I don't want to move to Mars. You guys, would you want to move to Mars? No, me neither. I'll stay here. Most of all, I help take care of the Earth because I want us all to be happy and healthy. And that's the end. So now we're going to practice, we're going to sing a little song about a litter bug. Do you guys know what a litter bug is? Litter bug is just, do you know what litter is? Litter is like when garbage is out on, on, in the grass and on the ground, right? And sometimes we see garbage outside, but it doesn't go in the, on the grass. It goes in the garbage can or the recycling can, right? All right, so this is a song about a litter bug. All right, All right so I'm going to be the litter bug. Once there was a litter bug who went from town to town, throwing out his garbage and landing on the ground. Look at all this. I'm just going to throw my litter. Just throw my litter. The garbage grew so high that when he turned around, the litter bug was buried and he was never found. Oh no. What should we do with all this litter? So now I'm going to need your help, guys' help to pick it up. See the litter, pick it up. See the litter, pick it up. And we're going to put it in the recycling. This is our recycling can. So we're going to pick up after that litter bug. Right? Did we get all the litter? Oh, there's one more piece. You guys are really good at this. And now look at it. It looks so nice and clean, doesn't it? Good job. <laughs> All right. So what kinds of things do you guys put in your recycling bins? Glass. What do you put in there? Glass. Cu cups? No. Glass. Glass? Glass. 
Well, I know that we can put glass in there and cans and like juice cans, juice mug, whatever. What else? Leaves. Leaves? Those go in the compost, don't they? How about in, the re in this one, the recycling? Yes, that one. Like pop cans, newspapers, lots of paper, any kind of paper like we just picked up, right? So this next book is a book called Milk and Juice, and it's a recycling romance. <laughs> Milk jugs, that's a good one to put in the recycling. Once upon a time, in a refrigerator not too far away, a jug of milk and a bottle of juice fell in love. My milk, my juice. They enjoyed daily adventures. My milk, you look stunning without your cap and kept each other cold through long, hot nights. Then one day, juice was taken away. My milk, they say they I'm done. The cruel hand of fate has ripped us apart, but I will be back. Juice, oh no. Milk, where is, where is, where are they going? Right there. Where is Juice going? The recycling center. All went dark for Juice, and when it awoke, pop! Everything had changed. My milk, my true love, where are you? What did juice turn into? A bottle. A different bottle, like a soap bottle, it looks like. It right? It's a soap bottle. Milk. I'm goat milk. Milk was nowhere to be found. Milk? Milk? The cruel hand of fate kept returning. Look at juice has turned into lots of different things, right? Keeps getting recycled. Crunch. Juice kept changing and milk remained missing. Eventually, Juice found herself in a basement. I'm, I'm trapped in this deep, dark dungeon of my aching, heartbroken soul. My only friend, this stick of stain remover. Even you cannot remove the gloom in my heart, for my milk, my one and only true love, is lost to me forever. Meanwhile, around the planet, milk searched for juice. Look at all these places milk is going, all over the world. Yeah, and then just find them. Yeah, so milk is trying to find juice, juice is trying to find milk. Out of the dungeon, but once again in a bin, Juice fell into despair. My milk, without you, I am truly and forever done. Take me, cruel hand of fate, take me away. All went dark for Juice. And when it awoke, pop! Milk? Juice? I found you! Good. They're both in this bench. They both turned into the bench. Milk and juice were together at last. Or were they? For darkness once again approached. <gasps> no, not the darkness. Stand back, cruel hand of fate. Uh, for I am juice and I want my milk. I'm still here, juice. Fate did not always answer, but some stars appeared. Darkness came and went, but milk and juice were never again torn apart. They lived happily ever after, forever and ever. My milk, my juice. The end. The end. Yes, they turned into the bench together, and they're always together now. Isn't that crazy to think that our the milk carton and the juice can turn into a bench? Lots of things. Look at these are all the things that it went through. It gets crunched and flattened and in bins and rides in recycling trucks, shredded, boxed up, shipped. Goes all over, doesn't it? All right, that's the end. Um, now we're gonna sing a little song about juices of juices on a wall. Bottle of juices. Do you guys know like Five bottles that pop on the wall. You know that one? Yeah. 
So we have five bottles of juice on the wall, right? Put your five finger, fingers up. So it goes like this. Five bottles of juice on the wall, five bottles of juice. Put one in the recycling bin. I'm gonna put one in the recycling bin. How many are left? How many are left up there? Four. Four. Four bottles of juice on the wall, four bottles of juice. Put one in the recycling bin. Do you want to put one in the recycling bin? All right, thank you. How many are left? Three. Three. Three bottles of juice on the wall, three bottles of juice. You want to take one in? <laughs> you do the next one. Put one in the recycling bin. How many are left? Two. Two. Two bottles of juice on the wall, two bottles of juice. Put one in the recycling bin. Do you want to do it next? Good job. How many bottles of juice are left? One. One bottle of juice on the wall, one bottle of juice. Put it in the recycling bin. And how many are left? Zero. Zero. None. No bottles of juice left. Good job recycling, you guys. <laughs> so who's ready to do bean bag, bean bag rock? You guys want to do bean bag rock? All right. We haven't done that in a little while. OK, so let's hand out a bean bag. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I got Oh, you guys got some over there? You guys are good at waiting. You want two? Yeah, there's enough there for two. You want another one? All right. Everybody got a bean bag that wants one? All right, here we go. I think. Wait, not yet. I lied. I'm, I'm getting it. Okay. Here we go. Start that over. I'm gonna get this. There we go.
Sorry, you can bring your bean bags back up here. We have another story next. All right, thank you. You want to shut it? Can you help me get that on there? Thank you. All right. We have one more story. Yes, you're right. So this is a book about compost. It's called Compost Stew. And it's for an A to Z recipe for the earth. So we're going to read about, learn some letters too. Environmental chefs, here's a recipe for you to fix from scratch, to mix a batch of compost stew. Ingredients. Do you guys see the letters? Yeah. What letters do we have there? A, B, C. A, B, C. A is for? A, B, C. Yes. So A, apple cores. B, bananas, bruised, like when they're all dark and black. Coffee grounds with filters used. Those are some of the things you're going to put in your compost stew. What letter is this? Anyone know? A. That's a D. D is for dirt clods, crumbled. E is eggshells, crushed. F is for fruit, fruit pulp left behind, all mushed. All those eggshells and old fruit. Anyone know what letter this is? G. G is for grass clippings. How about this one? H. H. Very good. H is for hair snippings. Hair snippings are going to go in this compost too. Like that. And I is for an insect or two. Just add to the pot and let it all rot into compost stew. Save. What letter do we have here? J. J. Jack-o'-lanterns. You can take your J and K for kitchen scraps. L is for laundry lint from dryer traps. Even your laundry lint can go in there. What do we have here? M. M. Mulch removed from garden ben beds. N is for nutshells. O. O, oatmeal. P. P is paper shreds. A. What letter is this? Q. Q. Q is for quarry dust. S. What about this one? A. Don't forget this one. A. R. R for rye bread crust. S for seaweed strands. Just add to the pot and let it all rot into compost stew. What do we got here? B. Not, not a B. What is it? What did you say? T. It's a T. Take tea bags plucked from long hot swimmings. How about, what do we got here? You. You. U for underbrush prunings. B. B for vegetable trimmings. What do we see here? W. W for wiggly worms with compost cravings. X. And X for Xmas tree needles. I. I. Yellow. Or <laughs> yellow. Y for yellow pine shavings. And last, what C. letter? Z for zinnia heads from flower beds whose blooming days are through. Just add to the pot and let it all rot into compost stew. And Almost. Moisten, toss lightly, cover, let brew. And when the cooking is complete, Mother Earth will have a treat. Dark and crumbly, rich and sweet, now open the pot and what have you got? Compost stew. 
Do you think you guys would like compost too? With everything we put in there? Do you think you'd like it? <laughs> the earth likes it and it's really good for your gardens and growing things. So that's the end.